Hey guys, this is Chetan for Gizmo Times and this is the video for the Lenovo K8 Note users with the tips and tricks to get you started. Lenovo's K8 Note this time doesn't bring the vibe pure UI and it's the stock Android. That is why you might feel it a bit different from the previous Lenovo phones if you have been using one of them. So these are the few tips and tricks to get you going. The first is about inserting SIM card and microSD card. Though this is not a rocket science but still you might get confused a few times because there are two different slots for the SIM card and microSD card. The first slot has two slots and those two are only for the SIM cards and you won't be able to have the microSD card in that and the next slot beside to that is only for the microSD card. Even though a nano SIM can be placed vertically it won't work there because this slot is only for the microSD card. And these two slots are present on the left frame of the phone. The next tip is again a very basic one but still pretty useful all the time and people who are new to Android are always confused about this. How to capture a screenshot? To capture a screenshot on the Lenovo K8 Note, you just have to press the volume down button and the power button together and that would do your job. It would give a shutter noise and then that would capture the screenshot for you. The screenshots get saved to the gallery folder and then you can either edit the photo or share it with anyone. Next is activating double tap to wake. This is a feature that was made famous by LG first and then OnePlus had adopted that in its earlier phones and now you can see that in this phone, the Lenovo K8 Note where you have to go to the display settings and there you would find a feature called double tap screen on. So during screen off, tapping the screen twice in the center will turn it on. Once you turn it on, you can just turn off the screen and tap on the screen and it would activate the screen. It won't unlock it for you because you might have the lock placed there but it would activate the screen there. Next is how to change the function of the music key on the Lenovo K8 Note. One of the new features introduced in this uh, phone is the music key, a dedicated button to control music but that's not it. You can do a lot more than just controlling music here. You can change the entire functionality. You can start flashlight, start camera, take a screenshot or even start an app. So this takes us to the next step of how to capture a screenshot. You can either have it set here and just long press the music key and that would help you take the screenshot and you can start any application on the phone by just long pressing the music key if you have set it to do that. The next is about changing the LED notification settings. This is a LED notification light given on the front top of the phone just beside the front facing camera. To change the setting of it you need to go to the display settings and towards the bottom you will see a light setting. The light notification settings for missed calls, text, unread email messages. You can Turn the lights off for a particular time that is uh, 12 at the night to 6 in the morning and you can have them set on for missed calls, 100 messages and 100 emails but you can't change the color of the notification LED light. Next is on turning uh, the battery saver mode. This isn't vibe UI so you don't see any special uh, modes that are the power uh, saving modes except for the one that is given by Android by default. For that you need to go to the battery settings and under that you'll see a battery saver. You just have to turn it on and you can turn it on automatically uh, when it's for 5% or 15% battery. Or you can do that manually by going to this battery saving settings. Next is how to turn off the swipe to show Google Assistant. When you are on the home screen, if you swipe from the left to the right, it would give you the Google Home or the Google Assistant page and to turn it off, you just have to pinch on the home screen then go to the settings, you'll see this option swipe to show assistant. You can go and just tap on none and that would take you to the home screen again and it won't show the Google Now or Google Assistant from now on. To activate it now, you would just have to long press the home button and that would activate Google Assistant for you. Next is on how to enable landscape mode on the home screen. This is useful when you are driving and uh, it works as a car mode where the entire content becomes on the landscape mode even the home screen. For that you need to pinch on the home screen, go again to the same settings and you'll see the first option allow home screen rotation. Turn that on and you'll be able to view the entire home screen and the content in landscape mode. Next is on how to use the split screen mode. When it is the stock android UI, you can see that the main features that were introduced with android are now available here and one of them is the split screen mode. Here the split screen mode can be activated or accessed through the multitasking menu. The third button in the navigation key is the multitasking or the recent app key. When you tap on that, you can see that there's an empty space on the top saying touch and hold a window. Then drag here to use split screen. So we can just touch and hold and uh, drag one app towards the top and uh, it would help in 
accessing two apps at the same time. You can just drag one app down from the center to expand it. Next is on setting up the fingerprint scanner for the security. So this is uh, one important uh, tip again if you don't know how to set up the security with your fingerprint sensors and uh, for that you need to go to settings then into personal security settings and under security you can see the second option called as fingerprint. For setting it up first you need to have one screen lock option which can be either your pattern, pin or swipe or the password. Swipe doesn't help in security, the other three would help in security and once you set, set up one of these three screen lock options, you can go to the fingerprint security and set it up. A total of five fingerprints can be set up here and it's quite easy to set up the fingerprints. It takes you a few multiple taps and finally the fingerprint is added. Next one is how to set up a guest account. Accounts on Android again are a default feature and that is a good thing because you don't want to share everything with someone who, are, who you are handing your phone to and uh, that would hide all the photos, that would hide all the accounts and the apps that you had installed. To do that, you need to go to settings and go to users. Under users, you will be seeing the option called as add user. You can just tap on that and you can share this device with other people by creating additional users. Each user has their own space which they can customize with apps wallpaper and so on. Users can also adjust device settings like Wi-Fi that affect everyone. When you add a new user, that person needs to set up their space. The next tip is with the camera. How to take a depth enable bokeh picture. One of the advantages of this uh, smartphone again with the cameras is the dual lens camera setup where you can have bokeh shots. Uh, that is the background defocus shots and here to do that you will have to open the camera app and the top left corner will have the shortcut for the depth enable mode. Once you open that, you'll have to have uh, one of the objects closer to your camera and uh, the background should be farther away. And you can set it up for f1.2 or f1.8 or f2.8. And then it would focus on the object and blur the background. Then you can take the photo and you can edit it later on to change the background completely. And the final tip here is about performing the factory data reset. To perform the factory data reset, you need to go to the settings and then backup and reset. And here you'll see the final option called as factory data reset. This will erase all your phone's internal storage including the Google account, system and app data and settings and downloaded apps. Tap on reset phone and it would first ask you for the confirmation and then it would reset all the data. And you can also choose to erase the SD card if you have the SD card along and you want to erase that as well, it would do that for you. So these were the basic uh, tips and tricks for the Lenovo K8 Note. I'm sure most of them uh, are pretty basic and you might know about them already but for new k8 note users who have been using vibe ui it might be a bit confusing and that is when this guide might be helpful i hope you like this video and if you have any other important tips that you can share after you use the phone i'll be glad to check that in the comments and do subscribe to gizmodines for more thank you